Good morning. It's good to be with you. My name is Pastor Joseph Bianco, and I am a pastor in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We have been going through the book of Philippians, and I'm glad that you're with us. We are finally into chapter 2, and it's an exciting chapter and has a lot in store for us. Um, I will put the word up on the screen, uh, but before I do, would you consider uh, liking, commenting, or subscribing? That's the red button below. Uh, it helps us to get this word out to others. I uh, appreciate uh, your help with that. Um, let me begin with a prayer, and then we'll read God's word. Let's pray. Gracious and heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the sunshine we have here in Pittsburgh. Even in the midst of uh, this crisis, Lord, we pray and thank you that we have this chance to be together. Lord, we pray for those who uh, might feel alone in this time and pray, Father, that perhaps they might uh, have community here in this channel um, through your people and indeed through the fellowship that we share by your spirit uh, through your word. Father, would you enliven that word now to our hearts, Lord, that we would seek to love you and to love our neighbor. We pray it in Christ's name. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord from Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. So, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, Complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from rivalry or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. This is the word of the Lord. You know, uh, Philippians, especially this chapter, is just jam-packed with information. There's so much we could talk about, and I don't want us to get stuck in the weeds. So today we're going to look at the overall theme of verses 1 to 4, and that theme is unity by way of humility. Unity by way of humility. Now, let's just take a moment to think. Where in your life is there disunity? Where in your life is there disunity? I want you to consider that as we look at Paul's words. He says in verse 1, if, if there's encouragement in Christ, if there's comfort from love or participation in the Spirit, affection and sympathy, then what would complete Paul's joy in the Philippian church is unity. Unity. Paul says having the same mind, the same love. And he repeats that, full accord, one mind. Now, what is the only way that the, that the church of Jesus Christ will have unity? And Paul says, he says humility. Humility. What does humility look like? Counting others more significant than yourselves. Now, I thought a lot about this verse. Is Paul saying that we are we who are Christians are somehow less valuable than other people? No, I don't think he's saying that. I think he's telling us to look to the concerns of our neighbors first. You know, that word significant uh, in the Greek is the word uh, huper echo. And the word huper means above, and the word echo means uh, to hold. So how do we hold our neighbor above ourselves? And Paul says it in verse 4. He says, looking to their interests. Now, look, Paul also says that you have interests that you need to look to as well. He says that in verse 4. But how can we elevate the interests of others above our interests? And frankly, this is really hard to do in practice. It's easy to say, it's hard to do. 
This is why unity is so difficult. Applying Paul's words to individual situations can be complex. You know, maybe sometimes elevating the interests of others above ourselves means subordinating our own opinions. It could mean having to say a conflicting word uh, with someone that you don't want to have that conversation with. Maybe in this time, in this day, with the virus going on, elevating the interests of others may mean social distancing. It may mean being apart from each other in order to protect the most vulnerable amongst us. Whatever this looks like in your life, we must first look to Jesus as our example of humility. Well, I hope this has been encouraging for you as it has been for me. Again, would you consider liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the red button below. Uh, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May you seek to love God and to love your neighbor. Thanks.